so when you start having this spiritual awakening there's like a point of no return I was having a conversation today with um, a friend and mentor and uh, he was saying you know I was talking about taking this step forward you know, there's a there are certain places in the path that you see the path forward but you're afraid to take the step and uh, so he said to me well you can either step forward or you can just decide that you're staying in place and the thought of staying in place was like <sighs> so you can always look on the spiritual path you know when you're afraid to go forward you're afraid to go forward but you're more afraid to stay where you're at you're more afraid of not finding progress and then that kind of brings you into a place where you just push through it because you know that it's going to happen as long as you're sitting like this you're just prolonging your suffering because you when you already see the path opening up ahead of you you can't you have to step out into it you, you already want to go there you can't stay in place when you see the new world you can't stay in the old world when you see the new world. So you're going to have to take the step. So you might as well just go schnuck, take the band-aid off and just push through it and go forward. And you know what? Be willing to make mistakes. Be willing because we are on this path blind. When we decide to let go of the path, past and we're going out on this new path, We've never been down this road before. So of course there's gonna be things that we are going to have to figure out as we go or take a wrong turn and go the other way, you know, or agree not to know exactly, you know, step out and trust that the path is gonna open up ahead of you, in front of you. Okay, my phone's ringing, so I'm going to stop this.